Pop Smoke announces his return in 2021. Back in February 2020, it was reported that a Brooklyn-based rapper named Pop Smoke was shot and killed at a house in the Hollywood Hills that he was renting. The growing rapper, whose real name was Bashar Baraka Jackson was considered to be the face of Brooklyn Drill. He started his musical career back in 2018 and rose to fame with his single titled Welcome to the Party which he released in 2019. This rapper was associated with the Woos, a gang that is at war with another gang called the Chews. After he died, there were people who were mourning the loss of Pop. On the other hand, members of the Chews seemed to be happy, and they even made fun of Pop Smoke's death. Rappers such as Breezy Blixky and Tony Briganti wrote some disrespectful words on social media. And while all this drama was going on, there were some people who were claiming that Pop Smoke has faked his death. And these people have some strong theories to prove their point of view. So, why would this rapper fake his own death? And if he has faked his passing, where he is now, and if he is going to make a comeback this year or not? Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and in today's video, we are going to discuss this whole situation and look at some of the reasons why Pop faked his death. However, before we start, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon, so you never miss any updates. Do you want to win a brand new iPhone or a brand new MacBook Pro? Maybe you'd prefer a $500 Amazon gift card? Well, comment the hidden message in this video for a chance to enter to win. The rapper was brutally shot and killed on February 19, 2020, at around 4.30 a.m. Pop Smoke was indeed skyrocketing before he was murdered. However, was he actually murdered? Or did Smoke trick the world into believing that he was dead? Watch the entire video to find out. Born and raised in Canarsie, Pop Smoke was known for his aggressive style and feuds with fellow rappers. He was signed to Victor Victor Worldwide and Republic Records. Unfortunately, he couldn't release his debut album titled Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon, which was later posthumously released in July 2020. The album topped the Billboard 200. The world was watching him rise to the top while his rivalry with the Chews got intense behind the scenes. Many people believe that the Chews was behind his killing. However, some are convinced that Pop faked his passing to maintain a legacy while living his previous lifestyle. So, what proof is there that he faked his death? First of all, you need to understand that he had one big reason to fake his death. The rapper lived a dangerous lifestyle and several people wanted to kill him. He was also associated with the Crips, a gang based in Brooklyn that is allegedly involved in numerous illegal activities such as drug trafficking, murder, auto theft, assault, fraud, extortion, burglary, and robbery. On top of that, they have a long and bitter rivalry with the Bloods. Here's what you need to understand. The Wu Gang was getting worldwide recognition because of Pop Smoke's music, which means that they were dominating the music scene in Brooklyn as well as making more money to support their illegal activities. On the other hand, their rivals, the Chews were looking for ways to tackle the Woos. Now, with the increasing success and popularity of Pop Smoke, it was obvious that the rival gangs would try to kill him. Pop had a better idea. He faked his own death and is hiding somewhere else. However, if you are still not convinced, watch this video till the end as things are going to get interesting. Now, we will have a look at the mysterious events that led to Pop Smoke's death. Three days before he was killed, Pop Smoke was scheduled to perform at King's Theatre in Brooklyn on February 16. However, he cancelled the show just a few hours before the show. He wrote on Instagram, I apologize to all my fans that went to King's Theatre today to see me. Here, let me tell you that Pop Smoke was reportedly told that members from rival gangs were present in the crowd and he cancelled the show for his protection. You might want to note that Pop was a target and a live concert was a place where his rivals could kill him easily. And then two days later, the rapper seemingly accidentally leaked his address. Think about it, a rapper cancels his show when he comes to know that rivals are hiding in the crowd and then he leaks his own address accidentally? How could a man like Pop Smoke accidentally leak his address when he clearly knows that he is a target? On February 18, he showed off a gift bag from the designer brand called Amory. On this bag, the address of the Hollywood Hills house could be clearly seen in which he was staying. 
He was obviously not the type of person who would take chances. The only thing that makes sense is that this famous rapper intentionally made these moves. Now, it is worth noting that this man exactly knew how people would react to him cancelling the show, how people would react to him accidentally leaking his address, and who would be blamed if he dies. Now, Pop Smoke knew that staying alive was more important than achieving stardom. He wanted to enjoy the wealth that he had accumulated. And being involved in rivalries with some of the most violent gangs in Brooklyn, he knew that he could be killed anytime. Now, you need to note that despite living a dangerous lifestyle, Pop Smoke didn't lock the door of his house on the night of his killing, and he even disarmed the home alarm. Why a person like Pop Smoke disarm the home alarm when he clearly knows that someone could attack him anytime? The truth is, he then contracted a few men who entered his house wearing masks, stole a few things, and made it look like that they had killed Pop. Now, some fans are convinced that he had a body double killed off. Now, the reality is a win for everyone. Pop enjoyed stardom for some time and is now living a peaceful life. Moreover, he has also ensured that he left a mark on the music industry. After all, the celebrities people remember the most are the ones who have died. And his record label has also gained more popularity and exposure after the world learned about Pop Smoke's death. This also means that his record label is making more money. Indeed, his posthumously released album was a massive success. Initially, it was believed that the murder was due to a robbery gone wrong. However, CCTV footage later revealed that it was all planned. Moreover, the footage also revealed that the alleged robbers left the home empty-handed. Then, more reports claimed that there were other people present inside the house when Pop was killed. The question, why no one from inside the house alerted the police department? Furthermore, no one except Pop was harmed. Why would the robbers, or even people from rival gangs kill Pop Smoke and leave his friends unharmed? Or why did no one from Pop's side try to save Pop? And now the most interesting part is, the police reported that the call reporting the incident didn't come from inside the house. In fact, it didn't come from anywhere near California. Let me tell you that the PD reported that the call came from New York. This raises some questions, right? Think about it, if someone from inside the house had called 911, Pop's life could have been saved. Now, I have some questions. How did his friends from New York know about the situation? You might be thinking that someone from inside the house had called Pop's guy in New York. Why this guy didn't call 911? The truth is, it was all planned and Pop Smoke never died. He might even be planning to make a comeback this year. Recently, the trend of young rappers has been increasing, and the main reasons include gang wars, drugs, and gun violence. This rapper left an impact on the Brooklyn music scene that other rappers couldn't do in the amount of time Pop Smoke did. He might still be hiding somewhere and planning to make a comeback this year. What do you think? Is he still alive? I think that the rapper had enough reasons to fake his own death, and with his wealth, it wasn't a challenging task for him. It was the easiest way for Pop to escape his dangerous lifestyle. Don't forget to share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. That's all for today's video and thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, tell us in the comments what other reasons Pop Smoke might have if he has faked his own passing. Moreover, you can suggest to us the topics that we should cover in our upcoming videos. Lastly, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, subscribe to it. And if you want to watch more videos like this, press that bell button, so you will be notified each time I upload an interesting video on this channel.